Okay YouTube, today I'll be coding this BMW E93 convertible, it's a hard top. Um, I'm just going to show you a few tricks and tips that I've got. I'm going to be using Carly, uh, make sure you've got the original Carly adapter. So this is the original Mark II Carly, don't be fooled by fake ones um, and obviously get an original Carly subscription. Um, if you go on like special days like Mother's Day, bizarrely, Black Friday, you can get this um, for about 50 quid and this subscription for about 60 quid. Um, so round about 120 depending on what it is. I think they also charge shipping and VAT so it can be a slightly bit more. So this is the OBD socket just in here. Insert it in here. now. I've got the battery disconnected because it's about the third or fourth time I've coded this car and basically nothing's happening. So um, I, f I emailed Carly, unfortunately they just give you a generic reply and not very helpful so I'm not really happy with that. Um, but anyway, just go around the back and disconnect the battery terminal like I've done you have to wait like 20 minutes um, after you've waited around 20 minutes reconnect it and then I will show you which coding to actually use on your car to code it so I'll do that in a second okay so basically go into the Carly load it up you'll have to click the connect button it will take a few seconds to collect. Like I said, mine's set to slow, so it's coming up with a few issues there on there. Once again, make sure you code every item one by one. Take the key out the ignition after you code it. Start the car, repeat the cycle. Whenever you code the car, the engine should be running. So make sure the engine's always running. So it will take a few seconds to connect. Once you connect it, run a diagnostic scan on the car. You will have to run this. Again, it's recommended by Carly to run a diagnostic scan. It will come up with a few faults. This BMW has a nitrogen and an O2 sensor issue. Now, um, they are really expensive. The nitrogen sensor is about £200. It's at the back of the exhaust the O2 sensor is at the front, the Lambert sensor. So basically, uh, this is caused if you don't drive your car like you stole it every now and then, it will come up with a uh, problem with 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 the car. Basically, it will starve the uh, catalytic converter, basically not heating it up correctly and cause a hell of a lot of problems. Now, when coding this car, I did encounter the roof not working encounter the window not working encounter a few faults on it so just bear that in mind so clear the faults on the car so all the faults are now cleared and then run into your coding system so now you need to go to the coding button click on that one once you click on that one you need to go into the option that gives you the comfort access module CAS module now it will load a backup but these backups do not work so always create a backup you can restore it if something goes catastrophically wrong so go to the CAS module inside that you will see the comfort options so again it's creating a backup go to the comfort options and then you'll see comfort opening, including the sunroof. This will be your convertible roof. And then comfort closing using the key. So these four options you need to select on. Again, do one at a time and take the key out, start the car, repeat the cycle. Now, 
I've coded all four just to show you because this video is already too long. So once you code it, see what happens. Now I'm going to show you. So basically hold the unlock button and the roof will automatically open. Now I couldn't get this roof to close. I got it to open, but for some bizarre reason it would not close no matter what I did. Uh, I've coded this car, like I said, several times now and I can get it to go down with the key, but I just can't get it to go up with the key. Okay, this is how to actually go into your options and uh, change the settings. So if you scroll all the way to the bottom, go into settings and then set the connection speed to slow. Um, and also you have to set the uh, mode to expert mode. And then uh, basically with these ones, uh, as recommended by Carly, you can actually code the car better. Now, every time you code the car, you need to repeat the cycle. So basically start the car. Once you start the car, you need to code one item at a time. Once you've coded one item, then you need to turn off the car, pull the key out the ignition, wait 20 to 30 seconds, put the key back in and then just basically repeat it for every single coding that you're doing. Now, um, you probably want to code your car maybe twice if it doesn't stick. Now, I did have a few issues with coding the car. Um, so basically, um, this BMW, when I scanned it, it said, well, it was 187 issues. Um, and then I just, uh, I gave up with it. Uh, but um, I just wanted to say, when I was coding the uh, BMW convertible, so where is it? Da, 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 da. Oh, where is it? It's disappeared now. Uh, oh, sorry, there you go. BMW 3 Series. Now, basically, uh, with the convertible, you'll have random faults that seem to appear and it really really annoys me i had a problem with one window not going up and down and then i had a problem with the passenger window not going up and down and the driver's window wouldn't go up and down and then i also had a problem with the boot being immobilized when i was trying to code it so be very careful when you code a car I seem to have like quite a lot of, lot of faults. I did speak to Carly customer service and they could not tell me why this was happening. But just be very careful when you code your car because you'll end up causing more problems. The backups, you can try and load a backup. But for the life of me, I tried it six or seven times and none of the backups work. So just bear that in mind. On another note, if you're thinking about buying a Carly and you're not sure if it's worth the money, if you have an Audi, a BMW or a Mercedes, some Mercedes, buy a Carly. If you have any other car, don't waste your money. Basically, if you go into the options on here, for instance, if I go into a Ford Fiesta, this is a, a Ford Fiesta ST and it basically won't give you options. You can't co a code a Ford. Um, you can basically do an emission check, which you can do on any other code reader, and you can scan it. You can't really do much more than that. Apparently, you're meant to be able to reset the service light, but again, I couldn't see how to reset a service on this. Now, depending on which car you have, um, you're going to just basically, if you want a Carly, you have to have a bmw or an audi any other car it's not worth getting um i mean this nissan i tried scanning on it literally doesn't even give you the option to code the car most of the cars you can't code so if you're looking to get a carly to open your little business of coding loads of people's cars be very very careful because when i was coding this bmw it caused so many headaches and so many problems with one window not working then the other window not working then the boot immobilizing you got to check everything so just be very very careful i know no one said that in any videos but i'm just saying that because i've used this carly on about let's see all of these different vehicles and 
to be honest, the only one I had a problem with was the B uh, the BMW convertible. Everything else I, was fine, but the um, 3 Series convertible, I had nothing but headache with it. But the video hopefully would help you out. Um, if you like it, please add a like and subscribe. Thank you for watching my videos and thank you for all my new subscribers. I'm nearly up to half a million views. So hopefully this video will get a few likes. Thanks. Bye.